friends and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today I'm going to be going over some July favorites as far as skincare is concerned and I'm going to be showing you guys some new stuff. All right, so let's do the new stuff first. We have some products that were sent from Derma E. I have worked with Derma E in the past. I um, do have a lot of their products in my room that I do use. They have under eye cream. They have creams for your face. They have creams for psoriasis and um, eczema, things like that. Love their products, okay? They recently sent me a scar gel and that's the box that it came in. And this is uh, for like scars that are new and scars that are old. I do have some of the scar gel in my room right now that's already open. So this will definitely stay closed for a giveaway. But I'm just going to explain to you guys how you would use it. It says scoop a small amount and gently massage into skin for new scars. Apply two to three times daily for eight weeks. And for older scars, apply twice daily for three to six months. So the older scars definitely will take longer for you to see some results, but it's worth it. Um, I've been applying, I have a little scar on my leg that my brother gave me when I was little, riding on the bike, uh, on the handlebars with him, fell and hurt myself. So, you know, I was like four years old. That's going to take a while to, you know, die down, but I, I think it's worth a try. I told my husband, I said, I'm going to just rub this on that scar every single day and see what happens. So I'll let you guys know. I've noticed that a lot of companies are really tapping into this vitamin C fat lately, and Derma E is no exception. Uh, they have the vitamin C renewing moisturizer with probiotics in it. And it says, apply a rich layer onto a clean face and neck, use in the morning and evening, and it works well under makeup. So it must be a thinner consistency. It's not thick at all. I have not opened this yet, but I just wanted to show you what the bottle looks like. It's a pump. And it says your daily dose of vitamin C. It said, oh, it does say that it's lightweight. It's radiance boosting. It's a moisturizer that can help support collagen health, helping to improve the appearance of uneven skin tone, fine lines, and wrinkles. Okay, so that is what that's supposed to do. Most of their stuff, like I said, has worked great for me. I have repurchased a few of their items before, the under eye cream that I think really help with my lines. I do have some lines under my eye and I always tell you guys that I crease so I don't apply a lot of concealer and stuff like that. And that's what I've really been working on. I, I saw that area and I said, you know what? I'm gonna apply some sort of cream or moisturizer to that area every night. I've been doing it and I have noticed a big difference. So Derma E has some great products. Check them out. I will have the scar gel in a giveaway soon on Instagram. So please be looking out for that. You must be following on Instagram. It's going to be this and a few other products, but definitely this, okay? This product is one of the old products from last month. Uh, this is the Babor Cleansing Phytoactive. Uh, it was two products inside. Let me show you. Um, this was the product that I was like, I'm not too sure about. I don't know what to do with it. I'm just showing you guys. So now I'm coming back to let you guys know. This was an oil cleanser. You have this product, which is the uh, cleansing base. You apply that to the face first. Then you apply this one. And both of them have, I guess, oil inside. I'm not too sure. I was watching their video. They have a channel on YouTube. So I had to watch the video to understand what to do with the product because I wasn't given any directions or anything like that. So basically you apply this to your skin first, then you apply this one. You're rubbing it in, not on uh, wet skin or anything. You're just rubbing it in. Then you apply a little bit of lukewarm water to your hand, start massaging it in, and it's going to create kind of like a white film on your skin. Not soapy at all, just like a white film. And then you're rinsing it away. Now, in my opinion, I saw the girl on their video who had a little makeup on and they were saying how great it removes makeup. I didn't get any of those great results. I had on a little bit of makeup, like some powder foundation or something that day. It was still a lot of makeup left over after I used the product. So I can't say that 
it's a great product after i used it that one time and i didn't see where it did too much of a good job i kind of left it alone so i think i'm going to pass this one on and also for the fact that I am combination oily, mostly oily. I have a few dryer patches like in the eyebrow and forehead area. I really didn't see where this did anything. So I kind of just put it back in the box and left it alone. If I had known it was an oil cleanser from the get-go, I don't think I would have ever ordered this from Octoly. And um, no shade to the company at all. I guess for some people it does work. But I just feel like, you know, I tell you guys the truth. For me personally, it did not do anything spectacular. I can't tell you guys it did anything great. So I'm not going to recommend it. Okay, something I do recommend. The Pure Cosmetics See No More Blemish and Pore Clearing Cleanser. Look at that nothing left just a drop in there and I can't even get that out I'm gonna have to open it up and pour it in my hand this stuff worked great my skin felt so clean so refreshed so beautiful after using this every single night I did not skip you see it's nothing left this is worth purchasing again and again and again I wish they had a really big container of it same pump where you could keep it right there in the shower with you and, and, you know, wash your face after you bathe or, you know, have it right there on the countertop where you can wash your face when you want to, especially in the summertime, because you need to refresh it. It's like you're sweating out there. You need to wash your face as soon as you come in the house to get all those impurities from the environment and everything off your skin. So I like that a lot. I will repurchase that as soon as possible. I like it that much. Um, I also have new to me, but I've already used it. This came to me like mid August. I don't think I mentioned it in that last video because it came in August, but this is from uh, Impress Body. And this was the little tote bag they sent to me, Impress Body. And these are feminine hygiene products. This is the Yoni Sensitive Wash. And this is a natural and gentle way to cleanse and keep your honey pot sweet. It says to shake it before you use it so you can activate the natural goodness. And on the inside of it, they say that they have uh, chamomile oil, sandalwood oil, rose water, apple cider vinegar, coconut oil, aloe, lavender oil, witch hazel, and uh, vegetable glycerin. Okay, and it comes out see it comes out just like that so it's not a soap it's more you know like frothy and i really like it they say you can put this on your washcloth or you can use your hand and clean your vaginal area with this get into the folds and everything of that area and it's safe for daily use your it's paraben free sulfate free a lot of other freeze are on this bottle so i really like it it has a very like um like a fresh i can't really it's just fresh it, it really doesn't have um a medicated scent or anything like that you heard all the different oils that are in there just a fresh scent that's all i can say it's a fresh scent another product that empress body sent to me i have not used this yet i purposely left this right here in this package so i can show it to you guys in this video because I'm planning on using this either tonight or tomorrow night. This is a steam, a Yoni steamer. Now, when I was pregnant with both of my daughters, I worked at a hospital and some of my coworkers, we all became very good friends. I was there eight years. They offered to do a steam for me. These were Haitian co-workers of mine and they offered to do a steam for me. And at that time, I didn't know what in the world a steam was, but they were explaining to me that in their culture, after they had a baby or anything like that, that their parent, their mother, grandmother, stuff like that, it was a woman thing. They got into the bathroom, they had the bucket with the steamy hot water and they put, they squat you over the bucket and they put the towel on your lower half like on your lap to keep that steam underneath you and basically you're open up that steam is supposed to draw out all the impurities and everything that's up in that area 
and you're going to walk away fresher and tighter and all of that old blood and everything that's still up in there is going to drain out and you feel so much better when it's over. At the time, it was a foreign idea to me and I was like, no, y'all are not coming to the bathroom to put me over no bucket and steam me, okay? But when the company reached out to me and sent this stuff to me and I saw the steamer, I said, oh, okay, that's what they were trying to do. That's what they were trying to do to me. And I do understand it. I've seen videos about it. So now I, I get the concept of it. But at the time, I was still very young. I, I was just like, no, y'all not touching me. But anyway, this one has sarsaparilla root, mint, honey locust fruit. Um, let me see, uh, tree, uh, amor cork, tree bark. It, it's a lot of different roots and everything in here to really pull the impurities and stuff that is in that area down, okay? It says that you're supposed to take one of these steam bags and about 750 milliliters of boiling water to brew. Ensure all of your underwear and everything is removed and the steam temperature is not too hot for you uh, before beginning the steam. Sit on the basin or close to, the, as close as you can get to that basin. Cover your lower half with that uh, towel and you can steam for 20 minutes or as long as you desire. It says that it helps out with menstrual support. Uh, let me see here, painful periods, irregular periods. It clears dark menstrual blood from the beginning or the ending of the cycle. Uh, endometriosis, vaginal disorders like yeast, infector, yeast infections, uh, pardon me, and other vaginal bacteria. Uh, vaginal dryness, painful intercourse, and its support for cervical dysplasia. Uh, fertility enhancement, it increases cervical fluids. It helps relax the vaginal canal and cervix, and it nourishes and tonifies the uterine lining. Now, the scary part about this, because I'm going to open it and just show it to you guys. I'm going to put it right back in here. The scary part about this, guys, is... I don't want anything that's going to help me out too much down there. And then next thing you know, y'all see another little mind catcher around here. That's the scary part. But, uh, oh, it's several of them in here. Okay, so it's several packets inside of here. And they have it sealed twice. So it's sealed in here. And then they have another package. And then you have, like, tea bags. Tea bags in there. So very, very interesting. I will definitely come back and let you guys know what I thought of that. I know my husband is going to get a kick out of this. Uh, you don't want to do this if you're pregnant, if you have any open wounds, sores, blisters, anything like that, or during your menstrual cycle. You don't want to do it. You want to do it after or before, but not during. Okay. So we will give that a try. And the last product from Empress Body is the Yoni Elixir Oil. Let me get up close so y'all can see. It has little things inside. I think that's like rolls or something. Something's going on in there. But anyway, let me read to you guys what this is. It says the Yoni Elixir Oil, you're supposed to use one teaspoon or three pumps two to three times daily or as needed. You're supposed to rub it liberally on the vagina. Uh, it can be used as a lubricant when applied directly to the entrance of the vagina. It has virgin coconut oil, olive oil, aloe, aloe oil, neem oil, vitamin E, essential oils infused with rosemary, oregano, frankincense, and myrrh. So this is like Jesus approved. Okay, it says due to the organic virgin coconut oil, the elixir could solidify, could get solid in here. So leave in a warm place to get the oil to a liquid state. And you see mine is still in a liquid state. I always have it like in the bathroom or whatever, but I have not used this yet. Every time I look at it, it's like it's too late. I just be like, oh man, I should have put this on. I should have rubbed it. So it says it's supposed to soothe irritation and assist with preventing infections. It's a natural lubricant. Um, it could be used for daily maintenance of your yoni. It strengthens vaginal tissues. It um, helps with painful intercourse. It's a moisturizer. It's an anti-inflammatory. 
It has cleansing properties. It's a toner. It's a rejuvenator. This is like magic in a bottle, guys. So let me see if it smells like anything. I never smelt it. Let's see. Oh, it smells very guys. It smells very good. Wow. Okay. Let's get off that subject. Yeah. I mean, like with all the oils and everything that's in there, made me want to put this in my hair, honestly. But, and it smells so good. Wow, it feels good too. Uh-oh. Watch out, Mr. Neil. <laughs> all right, guys. Last but not least, this is from Flora and Bass. And this company, I think it's in Sephora, if I'm not mistaken, if I am, I am truly sorry, but I truly believe I saw this on Sephora's website. Uh, they have Age Defying Adapting Facial Serum and their serum has cannabis in it. They sent me uh, some facial serum a few months back. They say a lot of people are jumping on this cannabis for the facial and the beauty industry all of a sudden. They say it's supposed to relax the face, relax the fine lines, relax the um, wrinkles, all of that stuff. Same that cannabis is supposed to do for the inside. It's supposed to do that for the outside as far as beauty is concerned. Now, the number one question I got was, does it smell like cannabis? No, it does not. The facial um, serum does not smell at all. It does not smell at all. It really doesn't have a scent. It just smells like, um, I would say it smells a little bit more like olive oil. Yeah, it smells a little bit more like olive oil. I have used this under my eyes in the afternoon. Like if I wash my face in the afternoon time, cause I'm pretty much set on my evening stuff and my morning stuff. But if I come in after playing around with the kids or we went out to the grocery store or something, did something outside, it's super hot in Florida. When I come back in the house just to get all that sweat off of me and stuff like that, I might wash my face and that's when I apply this. Now for right now, I haven't used a lot. I don't see a huge difference. But I guess once I get to like the middle of the bottle, maybe I'll have a better idea they also have um where you can purchase the oil for to ingest um I, I forget what the name of it is but it's a oh sleep tincture tincture t-i-n-c-t-u-r-e it's almost like um a long time ago when people used to say a tonic that's what they're kind of marketing it as and you're supposed to drip it underneath your tongue, hold it there for a few seconds, and then swallow it. It's supposed to help relax you and get you ready for bedtime. If you are a more relaxed and calm person, I'm assuming you won't have any wrinkles and any fine lines because you won't be all frowned up all day. So maybe that's the whole purpose behind it. Maybe that's why a lot of beauty companies are jumping on board with this cannabis thing and saying, hey, it may be other things we can use this for. So this company tapped into it. I did try the sleep tincture. I let my mom who has MS try the sleep tincture. I hope I'm saying that right and it really does relax you. She has um, like, uh, what do they call it? Like uh, MS crisis sometimes where her pain can't be controlled through pain medication. And we have given that particular brand to her before and dripped it under her tongue and it did calm her down a bit. Just a bit. It wasn't like a complete fix where she has no more pain and all that stuff, but I would rather give her something natural than to keep pumping her full of medications that, you know, just make you drowsy and they have lots of side effects. You understand what I'm saying? So if they can find other ways to use cannabis, then I say, why not? So I believe that is it. I think I talked about everything and brought up all of the products that I used last month. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these. Pro oh, the Posh Peel. 
That's what you guys really want to know about. Guys, the foot peel. I'm going to play a little clip here if I still have it to show you I did everything that those people told me to do with that foot peel. I did not have the results that a lot of people on YouTube claim to have had. This foot peel said that you were supposed to uh, soak your feet for about 10 to 15 minutes before you apply the sock and the serum and all of that stuff. I did that. Then you were supposed to put this serum inside of each sock, move it around inside of the sock so you make sure it gets all in there, and then you put it on your feet. They have this little tape that goes around your ankle to keep the sock on. I kept the sock on over one hour and 20 minutes. Then I took the, so uh, the, the sock off, and you're supposed to rinse your feet off or soak your feet, something like that. I know I did exactly what it said, but I don't have it in front of me right now to remember. You're supposed to start seeing some peeling within three to, I think it was three to 10 days, three to nine days, something like that. Day one, no peeling. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No peeling. It wasn't until like the ninth day at night that I noticed that under my feet felt funny. It, it just felt a little sandpaperish, a little rougher than usual. And I said, okay, maybe something's going to happen. Because I already written, I had already written it off. I already told my husband, this is a joke. It does not work. All these people who are peeling off layers of skin and having beautiful baby feet underneath the skin, they're lying. I, you know, like, where are they getting this peel from? Because it can't be the same peel that I'm using. Anyway, guys. After day nine, going into day 10, that's when I finally saw because I had been wearing some sandals that really didn't fit properly and they were scrubbing like the side of my feet. I had two calluses on both sides of my feet on the same side, you know, on each foot. Those areas peeled off quickly and smooth skin was underneath. So I appreciate that much, but I really didn't get peeling anywhere else. This is how, I'm going to show you a picture. This is how my heel looked after day 12. It just looked like an ashy mess. So I ended up having to use one of the little foot scrubbers uh, that I use uh, when I'm doing my pedicure or whatever. I had to use that and file all of that off my skin. I never got the peeling that other people get. I never got that. And um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether it's just my skin. Will other people get the same results as me? Will some of you guys get the peeling? Obviously on YouTube, people did get peeling. I never got any type of peeling like that. I just got a little bit of peeling on those two calloused areas. My skin was smooth under the, underneath there, but the whole foot, nothing, nothing else just an ashy mess at the end. So I cannot recommend it. I cannot say that you're gonna get the peeling. I can't say that, guys. I am happy that my feet feel a little softer, I guess. Uh, but it's like, was it my elbow grease that made it feel soft or is it actually the product? I don't know, I can't tell you that. But um, that's what I'm left with, guys. I did scrub it all off and now my skin looks nice again. But um, I can't recommend it. As a matter of fact, Amazon has a foot peel that's about $17 that people are raving over. And I'm feeling like if you could spend $17 on the one from Amazon instead of the one that I got from uh, the Posh Peel Company, maybe that's a better choice for you. So I'll leave a link for that one down below if I can find it. I haven't tried it yet, but like I said, I might as well give it a try because the expensive one didn't work. You know what I'm saying? That That's it. All right, guys. So if you have any skincare, vaginal care, foot peels that you would like to share down in my comment section, please do. That I would love to try some of your favorites. And, um, you know, just let us all know. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Cyber kisses. Bye.